हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश का ज्ञान चिंतन के साथ एंड लाइकवाइज वी ऑलवेज डू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक फॉर आई स्टार्स टू बट बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट माय प्लेलिस्ट इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन विच लाइक आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अराउंड हंड्रेड वर्ड्स हंड्रेड एडवांस वॉकेबलरी विच यू कैन लर्न ऑन अ डेली बेसिस बाई गोइंग टू ईच ऑफ द वीडियो एंड लाइक इन दैट वे definitely your vocabulary will be improved for sure so if you find it uh, helpful then please go through those video of that playlist too okay now let's come to the topic of the today and uh, if i read the statement which is given to us then it says something like this team activities can teach many skills for life than those activities which are done alone it means basically here we are comparing team activities it means group activities versus activities which can be done alone or individual activities we can say to what extent do you agree or disagree so again this is a type of essay in which we need to give our opinion and as I, as i always said that in this type of uh, essay always try to be diplomatic and be 50 50% on each side right so that you can write about both the points and it will reduce the duplication of the content within your essay right it means that we are going to say that group activities or team activities are also important for life and individual activities are also important for life it means in one paragraph we are going to discuss advantages of team activities or what i can say the group activities and in other another paragraph we are going to discuss advantages of individual activities for uh, for the perspective of life okay but uh before we start doing that uh, let me tell you how we are going to develop this uh, essay so basically like we can use four paragraph pattern for this particular uh, essay uh, in which the first paragraph would be your introduction the second and third paragraph uh, will be your body paragraph number 1 and body paragraph number 2 and the fourth one will be your conclusion so without wasting any time let's start discussing introduction paragraph now friends for writing introduction paragraph it is mandatory for any individual to do two activities the first activity is finding the keyword from the statement and that keyword will become helpful to write or to develop our introduction paragraph and once we find that keyword then it's time to write the thesis statement but first activity that we need to do for this in for developing the introduction paragraph that is keyword hunting so let's do keyword hunting for this particular statement <laughs> according to me friends like in this particular statement like if i try to find out the common things between both views then it is activities okay or various kind of activities that normally individuals do so that activity can be considered as a keyword for this particular statement and by using that keyword we can develop or we should write or we must write two or three generalized statement for or which can be related with the keyword and in that way we can develop our initial lines or um, right the initial lines of introduction paragraph can be developed once it is done then it times to come to write thesis statement so without wasting any time let's discuss thesis statement <laughs> my friends if i talk about the basic definition of thesis statement then it is nothing but a statement by which you are communicating your examiner that i am going to write about this and this thing in further my essay now as i said earlier for this particular paragraph or for this particular statement we need to write advantages of team activities and on the another end we are also going to write advantages of individual activities too it means that according to me group activities are also important and individual activity are also quite important okay 
and just because of that reason my thesis statement is something like this however many people believe that team activities are fruitful fruitful means this fruitful means advantageous for inculcating inculcate means teaching for teaching my read my read means many many of the skills in my opinion individual activities can also play a vital role for learning colossal imperative traits traits means quality for life it means both the activities are fruitful for life in general that is what my general idea of the thesis statement and that general idea is written by using certain advanced vocabulary which i have mentioned in my other playlist in thesis statement in this way now it's time to see how introduction paragraph can be developed by using this all discussion let's see the same in next slide now it's time to discuss body paragraph number 1 in which we are going to discuss advantages of group of group activities so without wasting any time let's start discussing body paragraph number 1 according to me friends like when we talk about the advantages of group activities so when any individual does any activity within the group then according to me that individual gets will get a chance to communicate with more number of individuals and once any individual will get chance to communicate with more individuals then eventually who he or she will become more social and that is the first advantage of group activities his or her context will be increased and it may possible that his or her context may become helpful further in their in his or her life so in that way more social that is the first advantage of any for any individual to be involved in group activities okay now if i talk about any like the second advantage of group activity then it would be team spirit when any individual involves him or herself in any kind of group activity then a spirit of like what i can say is like a team building or team spirit will be developed in his or herself and that is again the next advantage of group activities and just because of that reason you can also write or you can also include this particular point within your first paragraph in which we are discussing or we are we need to write the advantages of group activities if i talk about the third advantage then according to me when any individual involves his or herself in group activities and if he or she gets a chance to lead that group for com for the completion of any activity then it is possible that he or she can learn the, the learn the skills of leadership also from those group activities so that is also one another advantage of being involved in group activities if i talk about the fourth and last advantage according to me for the group activities then it would be something like this that group activities can teach individuals how to adjust with others and how to learn things from others it means a a kind of generous attitude will be developed in individual in which he or she will be ready to adjust with people it means the individual become more sensible and in another way they will also become a kind of open minded individual who are ready to learn anything from any other individual whether he or she is small or more knowledgeable or less knowledgeable something like that but in totality the individual become more sensible and open minded and they are ready to to be adjust with others and they can also learn things from others so according to me these are the four advantage of for any individuals who like who are ready to be involved in group activities or who are involved in the group activities now it's time to see by using these four points how we can develop body paragraph number 1 so let's see the same in next slide now it's time to discuss body paragraph number 
in which we are going to discuss advantages of activities which can be done or which are done alone it means there is no individual other individuals who is going to help you in doing that particular activity so without wasting any time let's start discussing body paragraph number 2 according to me the first advantage of doing activities alone would be an individual will be given a responsibility of doing multiple things at a time right and just because of that reason an individual can learn the skill of multitasking so that is the first advantage of doing things alone where you will be given more responsibility of multiple things and just because of that reason you can develop yourself be ready for multitasking right so that is the first advantage of doing activities alone now if i talk about the another thing or other another advantage of doing activities alone the second advantage would be improved decision making skills it means like when you are doing things or when you are doing activities alone there is no other individual who is going to take decision on behalf of you in group activities it may possible that the leader is going to take the call whether we are going for this activity whether we are going for this decision or not but when you are doing activities alone at that time you need to take the decision that okay whether this thing will be fine for us or not fine for me or not and in that way your decision making skills will be improved so just because of that reason that can be considered as a advantage of doing activities alone and you can include that point in your body paragraph number 2 the third advantage according to me would be this kind of alone activities can develop audacious behavior audacious behavior means an individual will start taking risk a risk taking attitude will be developed in individual right and just because of that reason then advantage that kind of risk taking uh, attitude right for any individual can bring so many success so much success in his or her life further uh, in in further periods right so just because of that reason that advantage can be also considered as a uh, main point for your body paragraph number 2 and the last and the most important thing according to me an individual can learn while they they have to do things alone it's handling the pressure pressure management skill can be learned by any individual when he or she is going to be uh, what i can say is like when he or she is, is going to handle the things alone at that time all the pressure will come on him or her only and at that time his or her real taste will begin and in that way in a longer run like Uh, an individual can learn how to handle pressure in a good manner so these are the four advantage which according to me can be added in your body paragraph number 1 mentioning advantages of individual activities now it's time to see how we can develop our body paragraph number 2 by using this four points so let's see the same in next slide now it's time to see the conclusion and like as i said always that conclusion is nothing but the answer of who and what so here we are given the scenario that whether group activities are good or whether individuals activities are good for any individual within their life so our thesis statement was something like that both are good it means now to get the maximum advantage of both the things who can do something and what can be done that is your general idea of your conclusion it means who can do something it means individual can do something and what can be done what can be done means an individual should give equal importance to both kind of activities to get maximum advantage of both the things that will be your general idea of the conclusion and if i reframe that general idea of the conclusion by using some advanced vocabulary 
then your conclusion will be something like this to conclude despite the significance of group activities in enhancing horizons of people about immense concepts of life it means although the group activities are quite significant for our life it means they are quite important for our life one should also give equal importance means one individual should also give equal importance to individual activities also why because individual activities also have advantages and group activities are also having equal number of advantages according to this discussion that's why they both are equivalent according to me and that is what your conclusion okay i hope friends you like this explanation okay and uh, please do not forget to provide your feedback and uh, please let me know if uh, if you have any uh, genuine feedback about this content and now it's time to see the entire essay uh, slide by slide so without wasting any time let's see the same thank you so much for watching my video we will make me we will meet uh, next weekend with another topic take care and bye bye